Packers starting lineups for tonight's preseason game number two with the Nuggets and the visiting Portland Trailblazers. I got a degree in broadcast journalism from Washburn University, Division II school in Topeka, Kansas, and I wanted to get a sports casting job. And here we go. I think Washburn was a perfect place for me. It's really the best decision I've made. Lobs it front court, goes up and lays it up in the air. The Nuggets are up by eight. The relationships that I formed back then, the people I met, are my lifelong friends, more so than 16 years in the NBA. Three try in the air. Got yeah. that. I learned early on when I was in college and playing and coaching at that level that relationships are everything. It always comes down to relationships. I was very bitter. I was very angry. And uh, a few years ago, I uh, decided I wasn't going to be angry anymore. I wanted to make this plane crash make me better. And that's a story I want to share with you. July 19, 1989, I'd been on the job with the CBA offices here at Denver for three months and was scheduled to fly from Denver to Chicago. I got to the airport and found out our flight was canceled. Finally, the fourth standby flight turns out to be United Flight 232 that crashes in Sioux City, Iowa. The first thing I thought was a bomb had gone off. I really did. I thought someone had planted a bomb. The explosion was not a bomb going off, but the number two engine exploding. The plane on its own would kind of bank off to the right, and that's how they basically flew the plane for 45 minutes, fighting a right turn. A normal DC-10 landing is about 125 miles an hour when you hit the ground. We hit at 255 miles an hour on the edge of the runway at Sioux City, which caused complete chaos once we hit the ground. We flipped over, the plane breaks into four pieces, and literally thousands of little ones. The guy next to me is dead. His wife on his left is gone. The woman across the aisle is dead. The guy behind me is gone. We're two and a half feet apart, and I live and he dies. It turned out that of 296 people aboard, 112 people died. After we hit the ground in that plane and we came to stop and I got out of my seat, all the years of being an athlete and really a coach kicked in. I had a game plan. I needed to execute the game plan. I needed to focus on what I needed to do to get out of this plane and try to help some other people in the process. And that paid off for me. I, I think it was the athlete in me drawing up a play or executing a game plan that allowed me to get out of that plane. It was a very difficult time psychologically for me after the crash. I went through the post-trauma stress, but I always felt like the people that I could rely on, lean on in a tough time, were those people that I met and became friends with from college, and, and they're still that way. My idea of success is different after that experience. I don't think success should be measured by where we are today, the plateau we've gotten to. I think success should be measured by what we have done along the way to get there. I promise young people this all the time. If you impact other people, you'll be impacted just as much or more. That's the way I want to live the rest of my life.